Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Arm Wars Super Series is back. And one more time, we've gathered together some of the very best in the world for a unique occasion. At the start of 2024, we return at a different time, a different setting, but one of our athletes was the winner that night. No limits, Devon Larratt back in the same place to try to do something very special again. And this time, sat opposite, is a new contender, a dangerous contender. A left arm specialist who has literally just demonstrated how powerful he is. Camille the Golden Dragon, Jablonski. Hi guys. Camille, you hey. wanted this match badly. Yeah. It's a match that you call out. There was, an, there was an open call to the world for anybody to step up yeah. to face Devon and you jumped at that opportunity. Exactly. Why? Oh, I feel I am not that far and if there is a chance, why not? And also I feel I can do it. So I didn't come just for show, I come to do the job, which I believe I can do it. So that's why. Now, I know we were speaking only a few days ago. Yeah. And at that time, I was pretty reluctant to, to run the match because I knew you were pulling a very powerful lad in the knuckles up. Yeah. You told me that you would finish that very quickly. It wouldn't be a difficult match. I should relax and not be nervous. You'd finish the guy super quick and then get over to Vegas. <laughs> I doubted you. You did exactly what you said you were gonna do and you sat opposite the man that you wanted to face so badly. Now that you look across and Devon's right there in front of you, any change in feeling? Does it excite you? Does it make you nervous? No, it's getting more exciting. I just can't wait. I'm still warm up after last night. <laughs> <laughs> Devon, you watched intently. I was stood right next to you as you watched through the matches and you appeared to be really impressed with what you saw. Very impressive. How big a threat Very is impressive. this man? Yeah, Camille's great. Uh, incredible press, uh, great commitment, uh, you know, test your frame, big part of arm wrestling, he's got that in spades, it's a great style, a dangerous style. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about the match also. Now, it always seems like there's twists, there's turns, mm. you were scheduled to face Cody West, the gorilla. Right. He said he didn't feel quite right. Right. Very yeah. different approach to the match from Camille. Very different approach to the whole scenario. <clears throat> it's been a very interesting, you know, few days. Like, as this thing has unfolded, you know, uh, you know I was supposed to, pull Cor uh, supposed to pull Corey, and then a pops Jamil, and he's got a match. So I didn't want to make it unfair either. So I wanted to come in maybe on a similar footing. So, you know, I had the match with Pavlo beforehand as well so it's I think this is a really wild scenario that's right you pulled a couple of days literally two days right. ago you pulled but I only did it. it I only did it because he was having a match also no, 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 no. Um, so yeah I think this is uh... do, you, do you think Camille is potentially a more dangerous opponent than Cody West if we look at just simple this is arm wrestling mass but if you look at it by the books we've seen an event recently where Cody Merritt came out on top of Cody West in that event. Now, you know, you take your pick, whether you think that was a legit result, whether it matters. But the fact of the matter is that last night we saw Camille dominate Cody Merritt. Very dominant win against probably the number one ranked guy in North America mm -hmm. at, at, at the open weight in the left-hand division. So yeah, very well done. Very well done. Very impressive. Yeah, shoulder commitment, floppers press. It's a it's a it's a great trick in arm wrestling. It's a very good move, and he's he's got it in spades. But I don't know. I think uh, it's good to feel the hand just a little bit beforehand. I don't know. What do you think? I think I can press. You. <laughs> I don't think you can actually. You want to try again? Are you sure? It's right there for you. No, it's right there. Uh, look how far away I am. I'm not pulling. Maybe right there? No. Wanna try? No. no, no, no I'm, I'm no, way no. stronger than you. <laughs> no I didn't know. No I wasn't sure. We'll see. No worries. It's okay. 
I'm glad you made the trip. Thank you. Yeah. I'm happy as well. <clears throat> I'll just get rest tonight and tomorrow for fire up. Yeah. Do you see a, a clear pattern how this match is going to go? I know you've talked to us before about the fact that when you coming into an event, you look at the style of opponent you're going to face. And I know you've spoken about how dangerous a good dead wrist presser is. Mm. Um, Camille appears to be one of the very best in the world right now at that, particularly on the left arm, possibly the most dangerous in the world on the left arm with the, the possible exception of uh, only Wagner would be up there, Bortolato. Yeah. So you've got a couple of guys there that are really, really dangerous in, in that technique yeah. on the left arm. But if you look at the dynamism and speed that Camille puts in there, mm -hmm. it's, there is an argument that he's the top man in the game on the left arm from a dead wrist press perspective. Yeah. Well, you know, what I do see in Camille that's encouraging for me is that it seems like this is his, his strongest card and perhaps his only very, very strong card. You know, the, the shoulder commitment is tremendous. I don't see a lot of top roll or high attack. So what I'm hoping is that I will be able to counter his move effectively. And we all know that the way to beat a flop is by hooking or pressing. So most likely I'll try and turn in with him or come right at him to match as well. Uh, I think that I have a few cards to play and I think you have one card to play. And hopefully over the, the rounds, I will find the, find the answer. Let's talk about experience in the Arm Wars Super Series. Obviously, you are the reigning super heavyweight champion. It's a title you haven't lost since literally we were last year. You've held that title since before 2010 when you won the gathering here at Sin City. Now, you are very familiar with the rule set, the format, the feeling, the nuance of this event. Camille, it's your first time. Yeah. Do you see that as a major disadvantage or do you not think it makes much difference? Could be a little bit. When I was pulling another event first time, it wasn't so easy as well. Mm -hmm. I have to used to do the rules a little bit, so sure. could be a little bit. But we have more runs here, so yeah. it would be more... Do you like the fact that there's six Yeah, I like, I like yeah. it. I love pull a lot. So every my training is three hours easy every okay. time, so I love it. So the, the endurance that people talk about as being a, a, an ace for Devon a lot of the time, people say that he may not be as powerful, but he outlasts his opponent. Do you see that really in your favor? Uh, I'm not sure really, maybe a bit, but I got same, you know. On the end of the training, I'm strongest. I don't know how I'm doing this, but I'm not tired at all. And for people who may not know, we, when we've spoken privately, you, you spoke about the fact that your left arm, you believe, is up to 20% stronger than your right. Yeah, the press and side pressure, the center, everything. Everything this way is much more, everything, supination. Do you feel more dynamic? Do you feel like you can move better on the left also? Yeah, when we mm, trying together with my wife, she recorded me, I watched the moves. It's all body connected perfectly on the left arm. Right arm can do that. Mm. Not sure how I can fix that, but left arm is just perfectly. That's why it's going pretty well. And I feel comfortable. And uh, I know <clears throat> what to do as well. Yeah. If uh, I have a big hand opposite of me, so let him wrist and do the rest. If you look at Devon and you see, obviously there's so much footage of this guy. Very recently, yeah. here in Arm Wars, he's pulled in 2023, a few times on the left arm, most notably in long battles against Sandra Sheris and latterly against Georgi Svetkov. Do you feel like you took some learnings from those matches? Did you watch those? Have you studied what Devon did? I think uh, most of these matches he can do much faster. He just play a little bit. That's how he is and people never know if he have more power or not, but he never lose. So that's his point, you know, to don't lose. But for him, it doesn't matter how long is the fight. If it's mm -hmm. longer, then he gets out the opponent and he can do a little bit, you know, a little bit love that he is so powerful. But, you know, <clears throat> I can't wait for that. <laughs> now, the other night when we were getting ready to watch the Knuckles Up event and we were all speculating on how it would go, I actually felt that Cody Merritt might be a favorite there. You had no doubt, you were absolutely convinced 
that Camille would win and you felt like he'd probably win at a, at a pace and he did. Why was that? What, what gave you that, that inclination? Uh, I think that a lot of the reason is the, the style matchup. You know, uh, anytime you have a top roller versus a flopper, uh, this is, you know, a guy who takes the hand versus a guy who doesn't need the hand. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of an ideal matchup for a flopper's presser and Camille is, is great at that move. So I, I, I thought that there would be a high chance. I think that flopper's pressers run into problems, especially with guys who can hook or press. I think that this is kind of standard. And Cody is, is known for his top role. So, mm -hmm. you know, as good as he is stylistically, I mean, he's, he's going to isolate that arm very quickly. So, yeah, it, it was still good. I mean, even, even still, uh, you're looking at one of the best top rollers, if not the best top roller in North America. So it's still impressive. Where do you rank, Camille? If you look at, I mean, if we wind the clock back, we're literally two weeks pre-Christmas, mm -hmm. we get the cancellation from Corey West, bit of a panic stations moment, mm -hmm. very disappointing situation. You put out the call out, you, you look for Travis Bajan, mm -hmm. nowhere to be seen, although he'll be here watching tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah. Now, when you look at the man who stepped up, I know you've got a great deal of respect for, for him for doing that, mm -hmm. just point one. But secondly, where do you actually rank Camille in the grand scheme of things as a super heavyweight lefty? Well, I think that there's some matchup issues. I think that he will be able to pick off guys. I don't think it's like he will be, you know, sixth and all the guys above will beat him. I think that he's capable of beating guys all through the rankings yep. and, and some guys will be problematic. I think that, you know, when you look at the world top 10, if you look at all the top 10 that are like top rollers, I think he has a great chance with any single one of them, no mm -hmm. matter where they are. I think as soon as you run into a guy in the top 10 who has a hook or a press, I think it'll be problematic. I think the strength and the power is there to win at the world top 10 level, um, but it just has to be against the right opponent. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether it's kind of a, a guy who's sixth and these guys are all gonna give him a problem. It's more like he can, it's like Swiss cheese of the top 10, yeah. yeah. Somewhere in the top 10, lots of good matches. I don't want to throw that question directly the other way. Mm. Where do you put Devin, lefty? In, in terms, everybody talks about Morozov being the guy. If it's not him, it's Kadecha. If it's not him, it's the Latin. Where's this guy sit? Uh, it's hard to say, to be honest, because he never pulled the top guys. I don't see him pulling Morozov or Vitaly or other top guys. Uh, maybe I saw some practice, but practice really doesn't matter, to be honest. I think he could be a little bit after top 10 somewhere. He's not that far, people say, even he says, he don't train, but uh, you know, practice is the best training. Mm -hmm. And I know his level is for sure good. That's what I saw, how he played with Kalinchenko, and he's not weak. Uh, and other guys, Sandris is not weak, so he's strong for sure. So What's the most dangerous element of his game in terms of when you look at you style for style he spoke about the fact that from your perspective it may be that you've got one arrow and if that doesn't hit the target he's got a lot more options he think like that. do you feel like there are some surprises in your game do you feel like you've got more versatility than Devin may appreciate uh, no not really I, all I have to do is the setup with him this will be the key if I let him catch like he catch Pablo in second round, I'll be dead. <laughs> I need to watch for setup. We have to be comfortable for me as well, because he can go over me and, and can be done. He will pull out. But if I would do good setup, I think we have a good match. Do you feel this is a much more dangerous match than the one you've just come out of? Uh, it's, it's, it's for sure, he's much more <laughs> clever guy. Yep. Much more clever. He, he for sure won't let me start if I'll be comfortable for sure. So we'll have a good world. I wanted to ask you Camille, obviously I spoke to Devin a moment ago and I said, look, do you think that you've potentially ended up with, because of the intervention of fate, call it what you want, do you think you've ended up with a more difficult opponent than we originally started out with in terms of Corey West, who's many people believe is the best in North America? 
Devon was looking to prove that that isn't the case and that he was dominant North America left and right. But do you feel now that he has ended up with a difficult, more difficult opponent? Do you think you would beat Corey West? Do you think you are more dangerous than Corey West? It's hard for me to say because Corey West put a little bit inside, but you know how I training. I changed a little bit my training, and mm -hmm. all the power come from the start position. Yeah. So I am not like I can push 100 kilos behind. I push 100 kilos from where to go. So I know I have got a lot of power, and uh, Cody one time. Uh, jump on me inside and he had no chance at all. So I know my inside is so good as well. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think probably I will get Cody, uh, Corey. I think I will get Corey as well inside if he get there. Where's your nerve barometer at right now? Are you nervous? A lot of people talk about no. when you sit across from Devon, there's an intimidation factor. There's a nervous factor. Uh, there's a, you, know, you think the excitement will get to you tomorrow? All my life is, is nervous since that summer. <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, nervous. I'm excited, you know, just, I love to pull and I've got just great chance to pull the best ones, you know, people mm -hmm. call him the best. And I love some comments if they say, can we have zero chance? Can we have nothing to Devon? I just love them. They push me more. So they are my few. Are you the favorite coming into this match, Camille? Well, In your eyes? Not sure. Who will see? I, I think, I think uh, it will be hard for him, for sure. Because he, says, he just says he will try to hook, but this won't be good, I think, as well. What's feel? No, not now. Why not? I am tired. Oh, me too. Ah, no. I, I think I'm probably more tired than you. <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> no. I, I've got like nine runs yesterday. Ah, there, I, you didn't have a single loss. And uh, and, and your press uh, on left is not so great. That's right. what I see. Do you want me to try and press you? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel, you know, I have no stress because I feel pretty comfortable. Comfortable. but. You know, I don't want to say I will win at him easily. I will try, and I am sure the key will be in setup. Yeah. I am sure. I hope his wife will have a, a bath, like she say. She won't help him so much from side. <laughs> we will see. Is he the favorite? Or is he the underdog? Mm, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, I, my left is a wild card. You don't know where it's going to be, really. It's hard to say where I am. I don't know where I am. Uh, I, I think that normally come the day, come the match, uh, I normally, I'm not bad, not a bad arm wrestler. Uh, I do think that I'm more versatile. I do think that. I do think probably if we go hand to hand, I'm going to win. Um, so basically it looks like the way the cards are, he has a little bit more on the inside. I have a little bit more on the outside. And we'll see where that lands. We'll see where that lands. Uh, the thing is, is, I think that I can fill in the cracks and the holes better because I think I've probably just got more experience arm wrestling. And uh, whenever there's a question, I think that when it's uncertain, I think that I'll have the answer. Who's the stronger man on this match, Devin? Oh, I'm way stronger. Look at the size of me. Freaking massive. I'm like an IFBB pro almost. Like, uh. You have only 44 centimeters there. I, I know. Have 50. How is that possible that you're bigger know. and I'm gonna beat you? Oh. Like, how is that possible? Yeah. Uh, you should win because you're the bigger person, right? No, you just say it's, you are bigger. You just you said it to bigger. me, right? You just said you were bigger. You are even less weight as well. I'm less weight, so I'm smaller and less big. Mm -hmm. How is it possible that I would just, even have a chance? Just one thing, what you have bigger is your hand. Is that the only thing? Yeah. Probably. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I just wonder how you thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a difficult one to come by with. Like, I don't know. I, I, I talk about our best. Oh, oh okay. I can I tell you. Know where you were going with that. But, yeah. You know. Guys. It's been a very, very challenging build-up to this event, but by the intervention of Faye, I think there's something very special tomorrow, and I think this could be a very, very interesting match. Do you feel like this is kind of 
spice versus steel? Do you think it's guile versus top end? What what, what do you feel like you're going to have to do to get around this well, man? Do you think I mean, you can run through him, or do you think you have to get around him, find a way around? Him? I've, I've played nice for most of this interview because I mean we're both a bit sleepy, but I think the truth is I'm going to destroy you tomorrow. Like as this interview's gone on, I've been kind of relaxed, but I do think I'm going to just destroy you. I just think so. I don't know. The closer it gets always for me, the more I get confident. I think I'll probably blast you. I think I'll probably hurt you. That's what I think. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in Sin City. The Gathering 2. It's on. Camille Jablonski, the Golden Dragon, was called out and stepped up. Devon Larratt, the reigning super heavyweight arm wars champion of the world. One more time into the breach. Here we go. How big is your thumb, Camille? Oh, it's only little. Yeah. But I don't use it, you know. You don't use it? I don't need it, nothing. From no. here is all yours. Take it. Really? Yeah. Come oh, take it. Take it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Huh? I, I can surprise you. I surprise him right here. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> there is something for sure. Mm. We'll see. And, and, and it's quick for sure. So. Ladies and gents, get your pay per view. Only for Arm Wars members. It's going down. Links in the description.